Good afternoon, Poké Sports. I welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 8 video, bringing you a Zacian team. Now, the time has come. This Pokemon is legal. Let's abuse it. Let's get it right out of the way here. One of the early Series 8 videos. We were able to use Evil Tongue the last episode. Right now, we're going to go right into Zacian. Um, everyone's afraid of this Mon. Everyone will probably have a counter to this Mon on their team. But we're going to try our best to... Eliminate those counters with the rest of the Pokemon that we have on the team, along with just trying to put our Zacian in an optimal position. Typically, you never want to leave with a Zacian. It's always that late game sweeper. So let's try to save it for that late game spot. We have the Thunderers here. Um, I feel like Thunderers is in a great spot right now, especially with how prominent Kyogre is. Thunderers can easily one-shot Kyogre with the physical electric move. Along with that, it has the Defiant, which is an amazing addition to the Zacian, because immediately the first thing that comes to people's minds when they see a Zacian is, oh, I have to intimidate this Mon. So, now they can't do that, because if they do, they end up setting up a Thunderous, which is still just, like, such a threatening Mon, even in Series 8. We have the Spectre here, because it's a great Pokemon, it does a lot of damage, and it's a great special offensive uh, option, because we don't have that right now. And also, the Incineroar. Uh, I mentioned Intimidate. Incineroar is very good. Are we surprised? It's such a great Pokemon, especially against Zacian, because Zacian can't really target it too well. Because the, the uh, Incineroar can just, you know, constantly spam Intimidates and just keep it on its toes. We have the Finny here just to avoid getting burnt on any of our Pokemon. And then we have the Whimsicott for additional speed control. That's pretty much the team. We'll see if this works. I mean, I have a lot of support mons, and Zacian is one of my like heaviest hitters. So maybe we can do something here. Anyway, if you guys are excited to get the rental codes of this team, make sure to wait till the end of the video along with that. Also hit the subscribe button and like button to never miss a single Series 8 rental code that we have. We have new rental codes every single day and you guys don't want to miss them because they're out for a limited time only. Anyway, let's get on to these battles. Whoa, hold on there, Giratina. That is not something you see every day, and I'm super excited. And then also another Thunder is keep in mind that Thunder is coming back, guys. Thunder is definitely coming back. Be afraid. Um, so we can't bring our Incineroar here because of that Thunder. And also, Incineroar doesn't really want to come here. It really would only help for that Rillaboom. But we can bring our own Thunderous to face the Rillaboom. I think that's a pretty solid option. Maybe just a, just the Thunderous Whimsicott lead. But then how are we dealing with the Giratina? I guess the only way to deal with Giratina is going to be the Zacian. I don't want to leave with Zacian, though. I'm just not feeling it, you know? I'm still going to go Thunderous. I'm going to go Thunderous and Finny. Bring Zacian in the back. And then maybe Spectrier? Yeah, why not, right? I, we don't really need speed control against this team. We have all the speed control we need with Thunderous. So we'll see how this goes. I, th my opponent definitely brings their own Thunderous here. And our Dynamax option is always going to be our Thunderous. They might want to Dynamax their Giratina, but go ahead and do so. I don't think there's much Giratina could do. Does it set Trick Room? I, I, like, all I know that it does is that it's tanky. Unless it's, like, the altered form thing. Which it could be. Oh, that is so strange. Leading with Grim and Mammo when you're predicting a Zacian lead, maybe? I don't... Like, that. that doesn't sound good. For anybody. Um, regardless, we're kind of in a bad spot here. Not really. I'm going to Dynamax, Max Guard. And then I'm going to fire off a Muddy Water here. Especially to so, so I can like deal some damage to the Mamoswine. So I can Airstream my next turn. The Finny should be kind of safe here, relatively safe to do whatever it wants. If my opponent wants to go for Fake Out, that'll be the worst case scenario. If they want to set up screens, I hope they set up Light Screen and not Reflect, even though they'll set up Reflect. Oh, or I hope they do that. I hope they switch. That's great. What I don't hope is that I don't hope that I get an Accuracy Drop by accident. <laughs> and accidentally give this, uh, give this Thunderous Defiant here. That would be really bad. But anyway, we're going to Dynamax this. It's our best Dynamax option. I think we're in a pretty good position to do so. I think my opponent does Dynamax their Mammo, right? Seems like their best option. Okay, no. No Dynamax. Okay, that's even better. We're just going to go for a straight Icicle Crash. I might actually be able to take that, believe it or not. I'm happy I'm getting this Muddy Water off, too. 
Ooh, nice. Very, very good. Nice crit on Memo. All right. Um, does have a sash. So I guess we do have to KO the Mammoth Swine here. Oh, of course I got the accuracy drop. No, man. What is this? That's so bad. That is so bad. I hope they miss moves now. I have to go for the Thunder onto Thunderous. And I'm going to go for a second Muddy Water. If they attack Finny, so be it. Right? Yeah, they're Dynamaxing. Here's my thing. <sighs> I mean, clearly you gotta miss the Icicle Crash now, right? <laughs> A negative one, 85 accuracy. I think you gotta miss it now, I hope. I really, really do. Mammal protects. I guess that's the best case scenario. At least I know my Thunderous can last one more turn. He goes to the Max Lightning. Onto my Thunderous. Oh, Finny's surviving one turn. Well, Thunderous, goodbye. Good riddance. Bad. But, 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 but. Zacian? But Zacian, I think. I feel like Zacian has the tools to take over the rest of this game. Also, I got Spectre. I could still hold Zacian. Just have Spectre far off a Shadow Ball, which should be enough to KO that health. They didn't actually boost their speed at all, so that's really good. Will we KO that health, though? I'm hoping. Here's the hoping. Um, Yeah, we just Shadow Ball there. And we Muddy Water again. And hope that the, the Spell Tag Shadow Ball from Spectre is enough to KO the, the Thunderous. Thunderous does not have the best special defense in the world, so theoretically speaking... If that doesn't KO it, out, uh, KO it, knock it out, which it does, okay. The thun the life orb would have knocked it out anyway. Cool. All right. They kind of messed up there by not getting the themselves some speed because my team is stupid speedy. And we're also getting to set up with the Grimnay as well. I don't think Mammoth Swine knocked us out. It's still hitting its move, sadly, but it doesn't knock us out. Nice, clean, double KO. Like I said, we're just kind of trying to... Clear the weeds for a Zacian, right? We're trying to get ourselves into a position where Zacian just like come on the field and be like, hello, or pop. That's it. And my opponent actually does know whether or not I bring Zacian because Zacian will show up in the team screen. Like when you pull up their teams, it'll show up as crowned when your opponent brings it in the back. So there is a way of knowing when Zacian is doing Zacian things. I think I'll show you guys in a second. Like, you see how my Zacian is crowned right now? Oh, no, you don't. My face cam is covering it. Well, um, there's a Zacian here. <laughs> and the sprite is crowned right now. <gasps> oh, not what I meant to do. Anyway, what do we do here? We Shadow Ball? Or do we will o -Wisp? We Shadow Ball. We always Shadow Ball. We Shadow Ball until the end of time. And then we Protect. I probably should have doubled in. Just in case he decides to do this. Oh, okay, good. I made the right decision. I was worried that he was going to go for the grassy glide on. Oh, okay. Never mind. He didn't have to. Bye, Spectre. Huh. Kind of bad news. Not really. Maybe. I'm going to bring in Zossian here, though. So, theoretically, we should be fine. There isn't much that Rillaboom can even do to Zossian. Get that Intrepid Sword. Let's uh, let's clean up the Grimmsnarl for now, just because it's kind of the easiest decision to make. And let's try to hit this Double Protect on Finny, just so he has a target that isn't Zacian on the field. Finny is kind of dead weight right now. Rillaboom protects. I ain't even going for you, dude. This also means Finny can protect next turn. Behemoth Blade right on to... Mr. Grimmsnarl, good riddance. And that's how you make Grimmsnarl disappear. <laughs> cool girls don't look at explosions. They blow them up and they walk away. Amazing. Now, Behemoth Blade. 
Now, protect. Because we can. <laughs> because we can. And that's Zacian doing Zacian things. The, <laughs> this is kind of the easiest way to, to just show Zacian being Zacian. Wow. <laughs> Zacian sweeping the floor. All right. Fair and balanced. Ooh, boy, this is definitely a Trick Room team. Trick Room team with Mr. Duskmane Necrozma over there and the Ndidi lead. Can we prevent? I don't think so. I do not think so. It's going to be actually very difficult. We're going to have to somehow find a way to salt this Trick Room. Slash... Yeah, just stall at this trick room, to be honest. <laughs> We're, we have no way to stop it. We have to just stall it. So let's go ahead. We're we'll leading with the Incineroar here. Maybe we can lead with Incineroar and something to spook this NDD from wanting to go for a follow me. I can't think of anything. We don't need Whimsicott for sure. Like, our, our whole team is already faster. I guess we just stall it out. So we go Incin. We go... Thunderous is a little bit spooked. We can go Spectre. Then we can't hit an Ndidi if they leave with the Ndidi. Go Ensign, Finny, Zacian, Thunderous. Yeah, Thunderous can really help here. This is going to be a hard battle. This team is actually very strong and well and like well made. They have very strong Trick Room setters and very strong Trick Room offensive mons with Necrozma and the Glacier. Good news is their whole team is weak to Intimidate, though, which is why I feel like the instant is going to be super annoying and super big uh, in terms of the outcome of this game. Nice Ball Guy shirt. Oh, I remember when they used to give those away. What happened, man? They ran out of Ball Guy ideas? Oh, boy. Hello, Necrozma. Nice to meet you. Um, what do we do in this scenario? We just set up Calm Minds and try to stall this out? I believe so. Because they get Trick Room up no matter what, right? Ooh, and they get Mind Storms with this Necrozma. Wait, this is nasty. This is scary. This can this can do some bad things to us. I, I'm pretty sure Duskmane Necrozma is physical. Let's only hope. I'm going to go for Parting Shot into the Dustman Necrozma. Just so I can cycle the Intimidates. And just in case, I guess we should Calm Mind. I'm going to do it. Since this is essentially a Trick Room turn one, right? Yeah, it's just a Follow Me Trick Room turn one. So let's just kind of predict that and keep doing this. I feel like the Instant was definitely a good bring for us, though. Because of just uh, how much it can do in this scenario. So let's go for the parting shot. We're going to lower the Ndidi special attack. Which doesn't really make too much of a difference. But hey. Oh well. And then maybe we send in... We're just going to send in Thunderous. Just for kind of no reason. Doesn't make a difference as long as we show them. We don't show them the Zacian yet, but they already know we brought Zacian. Maybe I should have shown them Zacian just to be like, hey, look, I have Zacian. They go for the Trick Room. All right, now we just go right back into Ensign. We keep repeating the cycle over and over and over and over again. I'm going to actually start firing off Muddy Waters just to get some damage off on this Ndidi. Sadidi will not be doing any damage here, which is nice. But the Necrozma, that's another story. Who knows? It all depends on its set. I know I will not be doing damage to it because of prison armor. Alright, second Intimidate going through. They go for Photon Geyser. Okay. That's going right onto my Finny. Oh, but we eat it up. Okay. We should be able to successfully stall out this Dynamax. I mean, this uh, Trick Room. Because of how much we're doing with Intimidate. And welcome to the reason why Instant is dumb. 
My opponent is afraid to Dynamax right now just because they are at negative two. And I, who can blame them, right? Who can honestly blame them? We get the accuracy drop on both of them. We're getting a lot of accuracy drops with Muddy Water lately. I know, you, I know, like, it didn't happen in this video, but it happened a lot in the last video as well. I had a Finney on both both teams. Okay, here we just do the exact same thing. Except we try to parting shot the, uh... The dog, at least. Or the lion, sorry. The cat. The dusk mane. Such a cool Pokemon. Withdraws it. Fine. Goes into Mr. Glacier. Alright. There's the follow me. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. At least get the Glacier down to negative one. Am I worried right now? No. Go right back into Thunderous. It'll even bait the Hailstorm, I guess. If he... Maybe. I could honestly protect for now. In case they think the instant's coming back in. And then maybe they fire off a max Quake on me, which would be really funny. How many turns left the Trick Room? Can I just protect and sell it out that way? Two more turns. I could. I'm gonna protect. And I'm gonna Muddy Water again. I feel like they Quake on that spot just to try to get rid of my Ensign. Not today, folks. Double swapping. Or not not even. I thought they were double swapping the Glacier. I guess not. Goes back in. That I didn't expect. It did reset all the stats that I dropped. But I could have brought an Ince in there. I guess I'll do it next turn. For sure. Alright, that's a big old Glacier. I don't like that, but... Hey... Sometimes you gotta fight things you don't like. Um, I hope I don't lose Thunderous here. Thunderous is kind of the only Pokemon that can Dynamax on my side of the field. Goes for the Knuckle. Ooh, predicting the Glacier Swap. And also getting the plus one for his team to counteract the Intimidate. Okay. Smart move, smart move. Definitely a smart move, but we're gonna keep firing off the plus one Muddy Waters here. Okay, nice. Getting a lot of damage off on this Necrozma. So now I definitely swap into the Ensign. I think I'm going to Dynamax my Finny. I'm kind of feeling it. I don't feel the Thunderous Dynamax this game. Well, after this turn, it'll be fine, right? I'm gonna keep, I'll just keep Muddy Watering. I feel like Dynamaxing Finny would still be a waste when I do have a Thunderous. I technically didn't take much damage at all. But my instant might be going down here. At least I can counteract their, uh, their stat boosts. Goes for the Quake this time. Okay. Gonna get a plus one in special defense. Onto the Finny. Alrighty. We live it. Do they double down into Finny here? If they do, that just allows me to parting shot. So I'm down. I'm cool. That's fine. Photon Geyser. Doesn't affect Sin. Lovely. Muddy Water is going to miss something. Please don't be Necrozma. It was. Dang, man. It's a little bit sad. But hey, so be it, right? Dimensions return to normal. We are now put in a pretty good spot. Necrozma goes down to one more attack. So I'm just going to Parting Shot. Followed by Moonblast Necrozma. Oh, no! You're a... No! No! I messed up. It's a Steel type. Oh, man. I saw that way too sad. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> We're not punished. We're not punished. <laughs> I predicted the switch, you see? <laughs> nope. <laughs> we'll parting shot out here. Um... Yeah, now we just go back into Thunderous. Oh, that was almost so bad. If they went for Trick Room, that would have been so bad. They had the opportunity to. Max Knuckle again. Into the Finny. Okay, we take that. Alright, now we're in a pretty solid position. Yeah, they're at plus one. Whatever. 
But hey. I think we're pretty capable. Of knocking out the Glacier now. Now that we can Dynamax. We should be in a pretty good position. Um, I don't think Mr. Necrozma outspeeds my Finny. I don't. I wasn't paying attention to speed tiers either, so I could be completely and utterly wrong. I mean, I guess just in case it could just go for the max airstream, just to not take any chances. And let's actually go for the muddy water this time, and not almost throw the whole game with one misselection. <laughs> A very slow game, very methodical, very back and forth. But hey, we're doing it. We're playing the video game. It's our turn to Dynamax, and we're outside of Trick Room now. I mean, I guess that's the problem with my opponent's team. Their literal whole team is physical. I think, except for, like, the NDD, right? So all I gotta do is just bring in Incineroar and keep swapping it. I didn't swap it this turn, mostly because I think I'm getting a double KO here. But hey, we'll find out. Ooh, it's close. I need to double connect with Muddy Water here. And we all know how well that goes. I'm more concerned with knocking out the Necrozma, though. Okay, good. Just double connect. Even better. Even better. No! No! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, ain't that a cool animation? Bye, Finny. I was almost close. If they set up Trick Room, I might have been in serious trouble. Anyway, we'll bring in Zossian. It's about time Zossian starts seeing some action. All we gotta do. Ooh, caress. Cressy desi des. The thing is, like, if I knock out Necrozma here, I still win, so. Let's just get a max knuckle off on the Krozma. Another reason why these two pair very well next to each other. And then I just have to Behemoth Blade onto Crest. This will be a plus two Behemoth Blade because we should have speed after the airstream that we got last turn. Ally switch. Does that change anything? Not really. Nothing gets accomplished here. I still get my plus one on my Zacian. And I still get a KO this turn. So we take those. And with that, that should be the last offensive mon my opponent has. Just gone. Removed from his existence. Blown up by a behemoth blade. A lot of people dislike the designs of Gen 7 legendaries. I think they're so dope, man. They're cool. Like, Zacian and Zamazenta are both very cool in their own right. I get they're just like wolves, but hey... Sometimes simple is better, you know? Sometimes simple is a lot better. Alright, all that's left is to knuckle again. Onto the Indeeder spot. And then Behemoth Blade, a plus three onto, onto Cresselia. See if my opponent actually lets me hit them. They do. Oh, what a Chad. Gonna helping him boost the Indeedy. Alright. I don't think Ndidi makes it out of this, though. This is a plus one knuckle. Yep. That'll do it. And now let's see if Zacian can Oko a Cresselia at plus three. With Behemoth Blade base 170 attack. 170-ish. I don't actually know what it is. Will this be disgusting? Yep. <laughs> okay, instead of Necrozma Dusk, man, we're just going regular Solgaleo. Also, triple lion team. Look at that. Got triple lion team with the Solgaleo, the Entei, and the Landorus. That's different. Um, also, a little bit of speed control with the Whimsicott. Oh, that might force us to either lead with our Intimidate Fake Outer or lead with our own Whimsicott, depending on what we want to really do. Um, I don't think Insin wants to come to this battle, though. 
because there's inner focus, there's full full metal body or full clear body, whatever it is, on the Solgaleo. So it could be really bad for us. It's probably Bulldoze Entei lead, though. So if it's Bulldoze Entei lead with Solgaleo, I think Whimsicott plus Spectrier is our best play. Bring the Zacian in the back. And definitely Thunderous. And we'll go with that. We'll see how that goes. Because all we have to do now is take advantage of the fact they don't have it. They don't have a fake outer. Go for the. Go for the tailwind, or you know, just try to just delete this. Uh, this Sol Galio with a max phantasm from our big old boy. Whims got Moltres. Never mind. Well, this just became really bad. We got to switch now. Question is, who do we switch to? I can't go for fake tears onto Moltres. I can't actually do anything to Moltres. I'm going to go for Tailwind here just to potentially match their own Tailwind. I could fire off Snarls, but that's just losing my Spectre for no reason. I think my only option is going to Zacian, believe it or not. Or going to Thunderous, maybe? Thunderous does not want to take a dark move from a... Uh... Yeah, I gotta go to Nazassian. I don't like to switch into Zacian this early. I really don't. But this might be my only choice. I really don't think I have a way around this. Alright, we get our Tailwind up first. That could either mean they're not going for Tailwind or we just want to speed tie. No, they're just going for Moonblast. Okay. Moonblast and Zacian. We eat that up. Are they just nasty plotting? No, just fire your wrath. Okay, we, yeah, we eat that up. Perfect. I guess they were just trying to cover for Sash. I can respect it. We'll go for Dazzling Gleam here, followed by Play Rough onto Moltres. We're not gonna waste we're not gonna waste any time here. I don't want Moltres getting uh getting set up. Now they could switch into their Solgaleo. They don't. Even better. They set up their own tailwind and they want protect. No, just going to let it go down. Wow. Wait, wow. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Okay. Like, <laughs> fine. Now we get a single target Dazzling Gleam on the whim. Does half health. Amazing. Um, This is a little bit of an issue if they knock out my Whimsicott before my Tailwind runs out. Mm, the way you're playing that makes me feel like you're scarfed, my dude. You are like indubitably scarfed so we're gonna gleam here and we're gonna hard swap into our thunderous to take this wonderful thing about zossian getting intimidated you just swap out and you're at plus one again <laughs> there were a few people that were trying to speculate like certain zossian sets that doesn't carry a rusted sword but like let's be honest guys you're always gonna use rusted sword <laughs> it's just so much better Unless for some reason using a support Zacian, in which case you're just wasting your, your slot. Okay, he taunted our whim, which is a little bit sad because that means we won't be able to tailwind when it comes up again. EQ, got him. Knocks out his own whim's got even better. They're going to have tailwind for an extra turn. But our Thunderous should be enough to kind of mitigate that. We should at least have two Dynamax turns with the Thunderous. To be able to match their Tailwind. Now my opponent also did not Dynamax themselves. That's a Solgaleo. I'm going to save my... Okay, I'm going to keep going for Dazzling Gleam first of all. I want to save my... My Spectre for that. Should I save the Dynamax on Spectre for that? No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think removing this Landorus, preventing the weakness policy proc is more important. And if said Landorus is scarfed, then at least it's hitting itself with an EQ, right? At the very least, it's hitting itself with an EQ. Dynamaxing Solgaleo, I would hope, I would imagine. That's making me feel like it's definitely weakness policy, which it should be. It's it's just the better Metagross, so why not do it? 
I love Solgaleo's face. It's like it's like a cosmic thing going on. I wish my face looked like that. Not really. <laughs> Go for the gleam, do some damage. I mean, we didn't really have another option there. And we outspeed because it is not scarfed, removing any chance of setting up that weakness policy. Bogey sports, business cards, upside down. Hello. Oh, no. Go to all those websites. You guys can read that. I believe in you. Um, anyway, Steel Spike is not going to be great. But like I said, the win condition is not the Whimsicott. The win condition is not the Zacian. It's not even the Thunderous. The win condition is the Spectreer. Because of that... Oh, you're not even weakness policy. Never mind. Because of that, we're going to bring in Zacian. And we're going to try to hold the Spectreer as much as possible in the back. We don't want Spectreer coming out here. Now, the reason for that is if Solgaleo is big, we can't one-shot it. If it's small, we have a chance. Uh, I'm going to protect here because I don't actually have speed and they are still in Tailwind and I don't want to risk that. And I also don't want to go for an Airstream. I'm just going to take this opportunity to buff up the Zacian. No, there's no point. He's going to keep going for Steel Spike, so there's no point. And I'm uh, raising our attacks too. That's such a cool protect animation. And just like, you know. Ooh, going for Quakes. I don't like the special defense raises. I can do without those. Ooh, big damage on Zacian. Kevin, no likey. Oh, it was a crit through protect. Oh, yikes. Um, are we going to lose? I hope not. I hope we do not. Lightning does no damage. Wow, we really need Spectre to impress us once all my Pokemon go down. That was life orb damage too. Okay, Tailwind goes away. So, what do we do next? Uh, but close combat is our next best option. I guess we go for close combat and we go for a knuckle to boost the close combat and also because it's neutral. Yes, let's do that. And because we're, we're going to outspeed here now, for sure. All right, the knuckle did not do a lot, but hopefully this close combat will do something at plus two. It essentially makes him weak to close combat. Please do me a favor. It does damage. Okay, that's enough to where Spectre can clean up. You can get as many KOs as you want now. Just don't go for a Quake. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, they forgot about Spectre in the back. Even better. Yeah, you can steal Spike Zacian. I don't care. I take those. I definitely take those. All that's left is to show them the horse, even though they've seen it already, and be like, hey, I can win now. I got a horse. I got horses in the back. Ooh, okay. That was a good battle. I have no idea why they left that, that Moltres in. Maybe they thought I was worried about the whim. I don't know. It's just a Shadow Ball turn. It's just a Wild Charge turn, and it should be the end of the game there. So Galio would need, like, a, a prayer here. It might not even make it through this. Yeah, never mind. I didn't need Spectre, apparently. <laughs> All right, not too bad. So I hope I convinced you guys that Thunderous Incarnate is still very good, too. Especially paired next to Zacian, right? It's incredibly strong. Anyway, let's go ahead and get you guys this Rendel Goat. So yeah, Zacian's pretty good. Who would have guessed? Here's your rental code, guys. Make sure to go ahead and abuse Zacian while, before it's too late and everyone finds a counter to it because, I mean... They should have already be coming with a counter for it, and it still seems like it's pretty darn good. Thunderous is amazing Pokemon. I would also recommend using Thunderous alongside Zacian just because they synergize so well. And Spectre, just so you can have a very good special offensive attacker. Um, overall, the team is very functional. I loved every single aspect of it, and I have absolutely no complaints. So, um, enjoy it, I guess. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you want daily rental codes. And, uh, yeah. I'm Kevin the Spoken Sports. Have a great night. Peace out.